Get on the ground. Taser, taser, taser. Listen for a second. If I get stuck, you're going to pick no, up no, a there's, major charge. No, there's not. From a woman getting tased to a thief trying to flee, here are 10 times when cops serve instant karma to porch pirates. I have a job that makes 80K a year. I don't have to steal it. Freaking bugs. Welcome back to Mr. Law, it's Ethan Lostein. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this video, but let's get straight into it. This porch pirate got caught two hours after his crime. On December 23rd, 2021, police officers received a report of a man attempting to steal packages. The officers were dispatched to the area. One of them spoke with the victim, while the others tracked down the suspect later identified as Everett Gonzalez. Hello. Hi, this is Officer Jay, because I'm just checking the residence to make sure this guy didn't get in or anything like that. Yeah, I saw him. Um, he actually came over like a 908, and he picked up something that was out the driveway. I have it. I have, we have cameras all over the house. Okay. So he he came over. He came over from the, not the house in front of us, but the house next to the house in front of us. So the right or the left? Right, so that's it. Yeah, facing that way, not the house in front of us, the one next to it. He sent me the steel shot, so I kind of got a photo of him in the aqua colored shirt. Okay. I just don't have the video yet, so I think he's going to send me that as well. I, I have the video. He was going to send me your email so that I could send you the, of him walking over to us. The, him picking up the package was, is on our ring, and I have to see. How, how I can share that. Okay, I know if there should be a, there's a little package and he put it under his shirt and then he walked away. Okay. He came several times. At one point he tried with a key to unlock our door. Okay. And he does not, he shouldn't have a key to your house. No. no okay. No, we don't know who he is. Okay. Have you ever seen him around the neighborhood? No. We're, we're not there that often. Mm hmm we just moved in a month ago. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. One of the times that he came over, the last time, he went and he went towards our backyard. And he didn't go into the backyard, but he went all the way up to the gate. This was today and as well? He walked back. I'm sorry? You said that was today? He walked up to the, to the side gate? Yeah, yeah. One of the times okay. that he came back. He came back like three times. Okay. And one of the times when he left, I believe it was the last time, he walked over to the side of the house. Yes, ma'am. And he, it looked like he was, he was looking for cameras. Okay. After two hours, the officers located the suspect in the area and arrested him. Will somebody please call my mom and let her know that I'm going to jail for some reason? Stand up. Hey, no, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Stand up. Don't touch me, bro. Dude, why are you Stand making up. it harder than you have to? I'm not. To? What do you Stand mean? Up. I can't. Well, put your legs through your arm. Ow! I'm trying. You're not trying. I am. Ow! Stop! What, what do you mean, doing? stop? I'm not You're doing anything. My hips. No, my hips are wide. Ow! Ow! Put your arms through. I'm trying. Oh, holy shit. You, you, you're gonna be able to sit down and put your, your legs back in? I don't, I can't sit down. That shit hurts so bad right now. Oh my God. Oh God. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Oh, God damn. Oh, quit hurting me. Hold on, man. I'm not doing anything, bro. God damn. What? Ow, 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 ow. Holy shit. Well, I'm on my fucking foot, bro. Look at you. Are you serious? My hips. Did, did you bring your ow. arms back. Man? I can't. Oh my god. Ow, 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 ow. What are you Holy doing? I, I can't. I ow. Holy. Oh my god. Can you just uncuff it for a second? There's two no, of you. Holy shit. That hurts. What is your issue? What do you mean? What is my issue? One, I'm going to jail for no reason. 
two y'all are trying to rip my hands off. Stand up, or we're going to get a van and show you what to do I'm trying to. Oh my god. Can I sit down real quick? God, because that hurts. Fix your Can hands. you just walk that way? Like that? <laughs> yeah, sure. Right, why not? Fine. Perfect. Let's do that though. Oh my god. This shit is crazy. This shit is crazy. Holy f. You got anything on Go. you, man? Yeah, I haven't searched it. Oh, wait. Any needles or anything? Uh, no. Yeah, because I shoot up. It's easy, yes or no. Do you have something, yes or no? Whoa, that's shit. I mean, I got to search you, dude. You don't have to grab no. my dick. Hey, stop. No, you don't have to. What are you doing? Stop I'm restraining. I'm not restraining. My arms are tied. It's are handcuffed right. under my legs. How the f am I restraining? Huh? How am I restraining? Stop fighting. How am I fighting? I'm not restraining. I'm not fighting. I'm not doing anything. I try to go for his waistline. No, you try to grab my I don't have anything, dude. I have a key here. And my guy did it on tack. I was trying to get them to come to the front desk. Right. This my I don't care what it is. All right, we'll keep grabbing it. It might get hard for you. You might like it. Set your ass here. Thank God, what I said. Get off my ass. Oh, he just tried to put his finger in my ass, bro. Bro, get off my ass. Hey, will y'all, hey, will y'all videotape this? These bullies are trying what to stick their finger there? in my ass. Nothing. I don't have anything in my ass. Come on. Okay, man. so they gotta search you. Mira, mira, come on now. Mira, come on, come on now. I think, comportate. I am. I am. Yeah, right. If there's anything in that car when we get out, it's yours though, you understand that? No, nah, hell no, it ain't. Y'all just searched me twice. All right, we're giving you fair warning. I can't. Ow! Ow! Listen, hey, listen, listen. Up. Listen, man. I, I'm, I'm going to turn you around on. and sit on your butt, okay? Let me, let me get my arms. Oh, God damn it. How the f*** are you even I don't know. Ow, ow. God damn it. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you Perfect. go. Hold oh. the f***ing press. Now search me. Now search me. Ain't nothing in that car going to be mine. Search me. Ain't nothing in that car going to be mine. Why are you tightening the cuffs? What's that for? So that way they don't slip all the way around not, and up to you they, more, man. Oh my God, if they could have did that, they would have been did that. I want you to search me because I'm, I'm not going to. I'm not taking responsibility for anything that's in that vehicle. Put your feet for me nice and wide. Oh, yeah. That's great. No, y'all are making it hard for no reason because I didn't do anything. For, yeah, ringing the doorbell. Right. Take your shoes letting off, man. Let the lady off. know that there's... That she's got three packages that have been sitting outside her front porch for four days. All right. Butt goes in first. That's what I'm going to jail for. Letting her know that she's got packages that have been outside her door for days now. Go back that way. This is great. This is awesome. The suspect kept complaining to the officers. Put your feet up. Just like that. I'm getting easy. I can call my mom when we got here. I said I can call my mom when we got here. Yeah, man. Uh, you, I was trying to talk to you, man. You were trying to give me. Ow. You know, you grabbed me by my wrist and pulled me and tried to spin me around and then no one did what I was I don't. I don't. I don't. What, though? I didn't burglarize anything, though. That's for Fortnite. I don't get it. These officers right here. You told me that I could talk. You told me I'd be able to call my mom when I got when we got here. And then you started getting super nasty with people calling me nasty words. Because you just burglarized me for no reason. For something that I didn't do, bro. So she goes to a call, finds probable cause for anybody for whatever reason. And then other people go pick that person up. I don't, I don't get it. Somebody like her went to a call, found probable cause to charge you with a burglary. I don't get it. Right? I looked at it, seen you had a warrant, so I came and picked you up. I don't get it. It doesn't, doesn't make sense because somebody like her is not going to find probable cause for a burglary for what I did because I rang a doorbell and I spoke to the lady and told her that I was from across the street. Efra Gonzalez was charged with burglary of dwelling and resisting an officer without violence. This guy stole a couch from his neighbor's doorstep. I mean, I didn't, I didn't steal anything purposely or anything. Like I didn't. I, I have a job. I make 80k a year. I don't have to steal it. Freaking bugs. On June 14, 2023, Chambly police officers were dispatched to Windsor Parkview Apartments in reference to a stolen package containing a couch. The building manager checked the surveillance footage and identified the suspect who was called to the lobby where he was confronted by the police. You weren't going to answer the door for me, big dog? Oh, <laughs> you was knocked out. I was knocking pretty hard. Yeah, today's going to be up, so. Mm, okay. 
So I'm just here to get your side. You can tell me whatever. Um, yeah, he called me. He told me about something about a package. I mean, all I know as far as packages, personally, I had a one package order, and then I go, I come here all the time. He, you know, I come here and next door all the time I pick up packages for me. Okay, when's the last time you obtained a package? Um, maybe like a week ago. Probably like, probably like a week or over a week, possibly. Okay. I'd say 10 days, 7 days. Every now and then I come and I check, make sure we don't have no package. But person, like a personal package myself. So like, you're saying about the 7th was the last time? I wouldn't be able to get every exact date, to be honest with you. Can you pull this down? Twice a week, it's probably a week. So seven days would have been the seventh, because today's the fourteenth. Okay, what package did you get? Uh, I had a package that I ordered on the couch. Okay. Do you have your receipt? Uh, I don't, and that's because I just changed my phone. I was in a relationship, and we had a family plan, and it was linked to my Apple ID. And like, since we couldn't recover my Apple ID, T-Mobile went ahead and created me a new ID. Okay. The officers get into the suspect's apartment to find the stolen couch. Despite the suspect's intention to tear off the address label, a portion of it remained in the box matching the victim's address. So if I'm not mistaken, I'm just sort of pretty sure. Uh, one of them is to the bed, and one of them is to the couch. Uh, how was you? And if anything was- No, this one was yours. Say it again. I want you to know this one was yours. By looking at the, the ticket that was on there. What ticket? I don't even know which box it is. <laughs> uh, I don't see one. This one don't have one either. I'm going to the side where it was old, but I don't know. I didn't tear it off. <laughs> when it shipped, they needed to ship it, so whoever received it tore it over. I haven't tampered with the box. This is another box as well, you can see it don't have it. This is the one right there. This is four. Hey, it's big dog. I forgot to rip one. <laughs> no, I didn't rip. I didn't rip. You know, I got you on video, right? I mean, I didn't, I didn't steal anything purposely or anything. Like I didn't. I, I have a job. I make 80k a year. I don't have to steal a freaking box. <laughs> I pay for it if I got to. I'll do whatever I have to do. I, I didn't. Literally, I'll show you the receipts to the phone. This one yours? Uh, I, I'm not. I don't think it's the same one. What is it? Yeah, this one's 14. <laughs> this one. I don't know if I so looked at it too quickly. I mean, I don't. I don't know. I don't have no reason to steal. <laughs> Literally, I work right here. Everybody knows me here. I have no reason. I go every day to that to that package. So box. this couch just so happened to be the exact couch that you ordered on Amazon. Yeah, I ordered a great couch from Amazon. Oh, not a great couch. This happens to be the exact couch that you ordered from Amazon. So yes. when you open it up, you're like, yeah, this is definitely what I ordered. I mean, yeah, I know I ordered a great couch. I mean, it was small. It was. I'm, I'm, I'm literally at work 16 hours a day. You look at my clock games, like I don't, I literally, everything I do, I'm almost never here. When I'm here, I try to do clean, I sweep, I, I try to do everything. I go right back to work, I come here, I take a shower, I gotta do my report for the night. I don't finish my job till like four o'clock in the morning. I can show you my emails where I do my reports. I, I, I finish at 4 a.m. and we close at 12.30, one o'clock by the time I get home. I can show you my receipts to my phone thing. If this, apparently if I grab the wrong box, if I got to pay for it, I'll pay for it, it don't matter. I'll pay double. It, it's, yeah. But you, you brought the box up here? Yeah, I brought, I, I went downstairs, I looked, I looked, I saw it was, it was a furniture piece. I looked and I saw 14, whatever. You got that box? Probably like over a week ago. About a week ago, over a week ago. A week ago? A week ago. Alright, well I recommend um, you get access to your Amazon account, okay? Okay, that's fine. I mean, if you can contact the individual and I can pay for it, if this would, that would avoid anything, I'm, I'm more than willing to. Like, I, don't, I have no problem with that. What was that? <laughs> now it's too late to pay for the couch and he gets arrested. Alright, do me a favor. You got any weapons on you right now? Uh, come on, you guys gotta really do that. Do you have any weapons that's on you right now? Right. Alright, go ahead and turn around. Put your hands behind your back. Get out under arrest right now. I'm just gonna put you in the handcuffs, okay? Can I show you my phone receipt thing? Mm -hmm. Hang tight. Hang tight. Oh. 
Oh, what was the question? I'm on probation there. Okay. Oh. What are you on probation for? <laughs> for what? For uh, armed robbery. Uh, no, well, it's, it was reduced to a robbery and then an uh, aggravated assault. So are you on parole or probation? No, I'm on probation. I've been out almost What are you on probation for? For those charges. What's wrong with it's, it literally says 14. I was like, I, I mistakenly probably overlooked it. Like, I literally, I swear to God, I have no reason to lie to you guys. I don't, I don't get in no trouble. You can, I've been out of prison for four years. I don't get in no trouble at all. Y'all can, I can literally grab the T-Mobile bag in my closet. If you can speak with an individual and I can pay them the cash or whatever, like, I, this, this, I have no reason for anything. <laughs> You said I got a warrant? Yes, sir, you do. I'm about to take you downstairs real quick. That's crazy. Um, Can I make one phone call, please? Just one? I'm going to bring your phone with you. Where your phone at? Oh, my pocket. Oh, yeah, so you good. No, hold on. Thank you. Thank you. Do you want to grab a wallet? Did you have a wallet on yeah, it? Yeah, I do have a wallet. All right, Wait, so you got a wallet. You know what I got a wallet for? By any chance? Try for Oh, my God. Holy <laughs> shit, dude. So we're gonna head on downstairs. You got a wallet, got your cell phone, right? Hey, can I grab a cigarette? I, I'm going to as I was walking past. Can I grab a cigarette, please? How you gonna light that? Put the lighter right there. Huh? The lighter right there. Nah, I don't Jeez. really like cigarettes, big dog. Can, can I grab my vape then? Huh? I'll grab them because oh, okay, my phone you. is so in the car. Appreciate you. Can I grab a vape then? They ain't gonna let you take it in the cab anyway. No, we're gonna we're gonna put the cab for the warrant out. So I'll give you the same for the box? No. How do you lock how do you lock this door? Oh the key. You can't just use the snap to lock. He was charged with theft by taking. This couple stole dog treats off the porch and faced serious charges. Back. On April 1st, 2018, the Volusia County Sheriff's Office received a report of a stolen package with dog treats. Deputies were dispatched to the area and located the black vehicle driving erratically. The officers initiated a traffic stop, but the vehicle attempted to flee before pulling over soon after. The officers apprehended the suspect, later identified as Brian Gibbons and his girlfriend Jennifer Lyon Steeman, who were hiding something more than just the stolen packages in their vehicle. All right, never mind. He's southbound on Peninsula from University. I'm going 18 miles an hour. It looks like it's a rolling DV. Park it. Show me your hand. Step out. Step out. Face away from me. Put your hand behind your back. X-ray 11 Central. Yes. You blew through the light. I lit you up. You continue to blow through stop signs. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm code four right now. You listening to a police scanner too? Really? I just no. That's a habit. I always listen to that. I always listen. Brian Gibbons was charged with fleeing or attempting to elude law enforcement and possession of ammunition by convicted felon. Jennifer Lynn was charged with grand theft, possession of cocaine, methamphetamine, psilocybin, and drug paraphernalia. This guy stole dozens of packages. Is there anything you want to say to kind of defend yourself right now? Um, well, I will say I did take a package. Okay. On December 18, 2021, Athens Clark County Police Department officers received a report of theft in Athens, Georgia. The caller reported that a young male took a package from his doorstep and fled in a black vehicle. Officers tracked down the suspect soon after and discovered that his vehicle was full of stolen packages. Hey, how we doing today? We're doing pretty good. How are you doing? Doing well. You got your driver's license on you, sir? Yeah. And can I ask what you're doing today? Um, I'm driving home. I just got back from work. Okay. Driving home? Yes. Where do you stay at? And you said you're getting off work. Where's work at? 
So what are you doing over here then? Um, I'm driving through. I got to meet a friend um, right at Five Points. And then <laughs> I usually drop off stuff. We're doing a uh, secret Santa kind of deal. So I got to go get condor chocolate. Why don't you stop back there? Back here? Yeah. Because there was somebody pouring up in front of me. I was trying to make sure that I wasn't like getting in the way. Nobody was pulling up in front of you. Well, you stopped, turned on your hazards, and then I passed you. Any weapons or anything in the car? No. All right, sweet. Hang tight. Go ahead. Dark hair, black covered mask, black t-shirt. You want to go ahead and step out? You can leave it on, off, however you want to do it. I'm just going to roll this up so it doesn't uh, yeah, get all wet. Annoying. Okay. Well, let me tell you what's going on. Okay. So you're well aware. We have lots of video footage from people stealing packages. Um, you're wearing exactly what they just described as a theft that took place three, four minutes ago. Oh, wow. And yeah. Yeah, yeah black shirt, short sleeve, black mask. The photos that we have from the ring cameras look exactly like you, and you're driving the same car with the same chrome outline on the windows as what we have. So right now, you're fitting our suspect description very well. You're in the area and it just occurred and you stopped in front of that other house that had two packages on the front porch. Okay. So therefore, we're gonna investigate this a little further. We're gonna figure out what exactly is going on. Okay. And um, we're probably gonna end up searching the car, your car, to see if the package is in there, the one that was just stolen. So do you have anything in the car that I need to know about? Or do you wanna go ahead and come clean and say, yeah, I just took that package off the porch? Or is there anything you wanna say to kind of defend yourself right now? Um, well, I will say I did take a package. Okay. Um, from my house. Just a little bit back there on the way. Yeah, just a couple minutes ago, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, do you still have that package in your car? Yeah. Okay, sounds good. Go ahead and put your hands behind your back real quick. Okay. The best way to do it is if you pray. Yep, there you go. Six, three central. You got any weapons or anything on you? No, I should have my, oh, I don't even have my wallet. It's you don't have your wallet either. Detained. All right, so have a seat. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read you a Miranda card, okay? Okay. The driver admitted pre-arrest that he did just steal the package a couple minutes ago, probably the one that I'm on. All right. Because you're in handcuffs, because you're being detained at this point, I do have to read this, okay? And there'll be a yes or no question at the end. You can either tell me yes, and we can do what we need to do, or no, and I'll shut up and leave you alone. Oh, yeah. You have the right to remain silent. Do you still wish to talk to me now? Uh, sure, I guess. Yes. Answer for me. Yes? Yes. Okay. So, like I said, you're matching the description of what we have from today. You you admitted to me before... Hold on. Go ahead. I'm quick. Um... Words are hard for me right now because you just totally messed up my mojo. Good? Yep. See you, brother. Take it easy. So, like I said, we have a bunch of different uh, video footage of somebody that looks an awfully lot like you and the vehicle that matches perfectly to everything that we have from ring cameras and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, with that in mind, is there any other thefts that you have committed within the past couple days? Not that you're aware of. Okay, and if we go through your car right now, we're not going to find anything other than whatever you stole today, correct? Okay, well, yeah, I don't need your permission at this point. Um, come on. What are you getting stuck on? You didn't in here anyways. Are those cuffs too tight? What is that? Are the cuffs too tight? Um, a little bit. Okay. Put your feet like that way and angle your back towards me. Let me check and make sure that they're not too bad. I know this seat is the most uncomfortable thing in the world, so. Yeah, we'll give that one a little bit of room. Hold on. I think I forgot the double lock on the first time, so they might have gotten tighter the first time. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff for uh, just one porch. So, actually, I'll come back there. It's more personal. Uh, so, like I said, with with all the package thefts that have been going on and people the holidays are starting to leave and uh, we'd like to interview you about some of the other thefts that occurred would you be willing to speak with a detective to either you know clear your name or 
for those at least specifically clear your name for those or maybe they might have other forwarding questions about it you got gloves Let's search the car basically all that is is that as a detective that has already looked at the cases that's more familiar with them because i'm not um they can actually ask you questions that are related to it instead of me just spitting out stuff that i know nothing about Honestly, like, I do want to talk to them. Okay. I don't know if I necessarily be able to help or anything like that. Now, the officers discover just how many packages he had stolen. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of packages. Mm -hmm. We'll be taking all those. Well, you don't know what's in the box to open it, so. Oh yeah, he knew it was that box, you're right. That's fine, if you're willing to talk to him, we can have that arranged. That was the main thing, was that we didn't know if you would you would want to or if you were just uninterested. Hey, my guy, uh, be honest. Is that the only house you, you went to? Honestly, I- Because I've got several different addresses right now. Um, I, I don't want to say anything currently. Okay. He said he doesn't want to say anything currently, but he is okay with meeting with detectives. Well, we're not seeing the MacBook, but there are a lot of different packages with different addresses on it. I'll have them up there for whoever wants to interview them. I mean, they brand new. Ain't got no mud, no dirt, no nothing. I would think that would probably have popped yeah. out of a package too. I'll take them. No, this is interesting. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure those are probably going to that, everything probably. You have to build it though. Yeah. Starts wanting to work on doing a search warrant of his apartment to determine if he has any of the other belongings. You say your sergeant's gonna work on that? Yeah. Okay. He was charged with porch piracy. This man tried running from the police after stealing a package. You wanna take a seat in the back of my car? We'll stay warm and dry. Cool, I wanna sit we're gonna move, we're gonna no, get we're out of here. I'm telling you to take a seat in the back of the car. On January 25th, 2024, Forest Park Police Department officers were dispatched in reference to a package theft. Officers located the man matching the description of the suspect. Upon seeing the police approaching him, the man began to flee, suggesting that he was in fact the man the officers were looking for. Get down on the ground, motherfucker! Show me your hands! Show me your hands! Get down on the ground! Put your hands behind your back. Stop! Stop! Why are you going to be silly? Why are you going to be silly? Oh, that's not going to be run. the ground. Stop. Oh, I don't know. Stop. I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm going to go to the After apprehending the suspect, the officers checked whether he had stolen the packages. I would uh, prefer the local ordinance route because uh, they, they do not want to deal with Maybrook. If you're good with that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's see. Okay, I will get all their information. Do you want me to take a photo of this box or? Uh, yeah, take a photo of that. Well, we'll grab a photo over here. This guy's on EM for something as well. So, not really sure what. All right. Right, okay. So I'm gonna take a few photos of that box. Does your doorbell work? No. But I'm gonna go talk to the neighbor. The neighbor's the one that called at 11.06. If we can see if there's anything, just cause he's already playing the games. No, I found it on the ground. And we don't have uh, the witness. So, uh, 
Oh, the neighbors actually just called. Yeah, 1106. I, I gotta go talk to them. Okay. To make it look good. You know what I mean? To, uh, I shouldn't say to make it look good to tidy it all up. I mean, he, he had it and dropped it. So, oh. he's got the most of the pattern multicolor backpack. Okay. Which, cause, well, I'm gonna go talk to 1106. That's, okay. I guess that's our caller. Okay. Um, I'm not seeing one, but we'll we'll check and because right. I'm sure he walked up and down or at least yeah. a little bit. So um, we'll have an officer call you with the court date, the hearing date up at the village. Okay. And, uh, we'll, and that's <laughs> All right. Seven thirty. The Thank you, sir. That's Hold on a second, okay? Just step over here. Just step right here. Yep. Who's it? Zachary, do you like to go by Zach or what do you like to be called? Well, I'm trying to tell you. What do you like to be called? So I know what to call you. What do you call me? Well, what's Zach? Zach, what do you like? I'm trying to be respectful with you, man. Zach? Alright. So here's the deal, Zach. We're going to get a couple tickets today. Alright? We're going to get a couple tickets. Check for a date. Zachary, is it? Alright, so here's the deal. You're, you're, you're detained right now for a theft. You have proceeds. Because that shit came out of the box. I'll pick it up off the ground. Okay. Here's the deal. 51 and 23. You can either go catch another criminal case or you can get a local ordinance, which is a ticket and walk away. What do you want to get? Local ordinance. It's a ticket. Like a channel between you and the village of Forest Park. If you fail to show up for the court date on the ticket and address your responsibilities, then there's a warrant out for your arrest. Well, I've got to go to court. At the Forest Park Police Station. But that's it. All the, the information is going to be on the ticket. So. You got my umbrella? I haven't seen an umbrella yet. So, do you want to take a seat in the back of my car? We'll stay warm and dry. We're gonna move. We're gonna no, move out. I'm telling you to take a seat in the back of the car. I, 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 nothing else in the, in the bag, no. Clothing and stuff. He made it far from his car. Yeah, it has been a little bit of a delay on it. Well, we, when he saw that uh, vacuum, that that's over 200 bucks. How much for the bag? Hundred dollar bill. Hundred dollar. Oh. Okay. <laughs> he was charged with resisting arrest and theft. This guy got mad after getting caught stealing. And I want to know if there's, there's no uh, needles or anything. Well, can you guys give me a break on this? Because no. I mean, I, I just no. got out Are of there jail. any needles in there? Are they, anything oh, like give that? me a break on this, man. Sir, I didn't. You committed larceny. On November 30th, 2022, Las Cruces's police department officers received a report of an active porch pirate in the area. The officers quickly located the suspect, later identified as 34 year old Gabriel Jasiria, and arrested him. The officers confirmed that he was the one responsible for the package theft in the area and proceeded to arrest him. 
you guys could fast pack me or whatever. I'd meet well, you. Well, we're probably going to do that too. I need to talk to the management over there, Pecos, because I'm pretty sure they don't want this kind of activity going on. No, I, I, well, what activity? I thought it was an empty box. Well, you're getting charged with theft. You're getting charged with larceny today. Is that a felony? It's $399. Before you go picking up other people's property, you might want to know how what it is you're So taking. I'm going to jail right now? Yeah, you're going to jail. You're under arrest. I'm going to take everything out of your pockets. And I want to know if there's, there's no uh, needles or anything. Well, can you guys give me a break on this? Because no. I mean, I, I just no. got out Are of there jail. any needles in there? Are they, anything no, like give that? me a break on this, man. Sir, I didn't. You committed larceny. That was. In no, of I thought residence. it was. No, I know, but like. Hey. Listen even for a second. Was, if it, even if it was trash? Listen for a second. If I get stuck, you're going to pick no, up no, a major charge. No, there's not. Okay, that's what I want to know. It had value. Okay, you weren't picking up I, I, Well, that's what I thought it was. I thought that people would have got that a long time ago. Well, we watched you look at the label. We watched you look at the box. You actually walked away from it, and then you came back. Who's in the red car you were talking to? Uh, somebody that asked for a cigarette. Man, please give me a but break you, on this, man. I didn't know any better, man. I, I, come hey, on, man. Back, so, please yeah. care about my life, man. I didn't mean to do any larceny, man. I, I was just looking out for a box, bro. I thought it was trash. That's what people usually do. Is, these are trash out there. When you, you thought it was a box? I thought it was a box, empty box. And when I picked it up, I thought it was just trash inside it. What did it feel like when you picked it up? Like trash. Like, I, I didn't really realize what it was. Some heavy trash. Yeah, th yeah, people put, you were please man, I don't, I don't need this charge on me right now, brother, please, can you just give me a break, I didn't mean this, man, I'll, 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 I'll disappear from here, man, can you please help me out with this, you're not getting any breaks today, why not, like, I didn't know any better, brother, this is the, uh, Wrong place to be doing this kind of stuff. We're tracking down on crime in this area. Okay. It wasn't that I was doing crime, brother. I was just trying to look for a empty box. Brother, we're not doing that for no No, there's nothing, man. I don't have nothing else. That. No, it's not this individual. Can you please? I'm sorry, brother. I didn't mean to do anything bad like that. Well, I'm not. I'm not really. I mean, if my your package was sitting on your porch. No, well, you, it, it, to me, that's what trash looks yeah. like. If you look at other people's doorsteps, there's like bags and stuff like. All right, like. Good, have a seat right oh, here. Oh man, you can't give me a break on this, brother. Have a seat, brother. I just got out of jail. What were you in jail for? For a warrant, brother. What was the charge? It was a. Uh, no, it was a threat. What was the charge? It was uh, they no, got, uh, no, it was a threat, uh, shoplifting, I guess. Okay. No, but wait, no, no, it was just stealing. I wasn't even caught with that, brother. Like, oh yeah, but you did it. You no, were... I didn't do it. Gabriel, have a seat, please. Man, you're like, like tripping me out right now, brother. I didn't mean to do this, so and I just need a break. You're, like... you're not getting a break. You're going to judge today. Okay? You're doing a take a seat. Brother, is this a felony? No, it's not a felony. Three hundred ninety-nine dollars. This is what the value of that item is in there. You need to have a seat. So you're good. Yeah, I didn't even know that it was a. Please have a seat. Yeah, okay, what else am I getting charged with? <laughs> am I really going to jail today? Put your feet inside and put this in. Uh, you guys can't give me a break on this, man. I didn't know better, dude. Look to your. Look over that way. Brother, I didn't know any better, brother. Come on, man. I just got out of jail, bro. Okay, I was just looking just for a box. I can't, man. I just got out of jail. Gabrielle Sierra was charged with larceny theft. This woman stole items from the donation bin. Okay, and you've been seen on camera putting stuff in your vehicle. What what did you put in your vehicle? On November 14, 2021, Sumter County Sheriff's Office deputies received a report of a suspicious person around Sumter County Youth Center thrift store. The officers arrived at the scene and located the suspect inside the donation bin, attempting to steal donated items. Look over what? Whatever's in here. Do you see you see the Big sign that says no dumping, no nothing. Are you dumping or are you taking? I'm taking. Okay. I'm not going to dump. I didn't bring anything to dump with me. I don't do that. Okay. And you've been seen on camera putting stuff in your vehicle. Uh -huh. What What did you put in your vehicle? Some stuff. That... From here? Yes. From there? From over there. Correct. Okay. That is not a dumpster. Okay. Those are donations for the business. Okay. All right. Okay. Back. Okay. So let's get out of the dumpster. Okay. 
So tell me what you took out um, from over there. Some clothes. Okay. Um, it was a, a basket, a bag. There was some clothes over there, and there was some, um, I don't remember what all I got. It's all right here in the back seat. Okay. Just open. You don't have to get it out. All the stuff in the blue basket? Yes. Okay. Um, Are, do you normally do this? Um. I mean, people don't randomly just see stuff like back here, so you've had to have done this before. Yeah, not in this county, but yes, ma'am, I have. Not. What other counties did you do that in? Um, I lived in Pasco County. Where do you live at? I moved up to Fall City, Citrus County. So where do you currently live? In Citrus County. Okay. So how did you find this particular I, building? I put a thing in Google to show me um, thrift stores, so I could, you know, go through the dumpsters and stuff. Is that like a regular thing for you? Uh, I live on disability and I, the stuff I get, I try to sell to supplement my income, yes ma'am. As she was caught red-handed, she got arrested. Okay, turn around for me. You are going to jail because the owner of the property wishes to protect, press criminal charges for theft. She was charged with theft. This man got caught with a backpack full of burglary tools. Okay, right? Yeah. So you know you're not supposed to be in the building, right? Yes. On August 24th, 2024, Hoboken Police Department officers were dispatched to a residence building in reference to a man who is related to multiple burglaries in the same building in recent weeks. The suspect, later identified as 32-year-old Sangman Kim, was caught in the building with a backpack full of burglary equipment. Put it on the ground. Don't move. Okay? What are you doing in, the, in this building? I work here. You work here? Yes. Two, three. Please help me. Okay, can I actually have the sergeant run the party just to confirm the one that's open? Do you have ID on you? Don't worry, two buckets again. Hold on. Keep your arms up, okay? Yeah. Keep your hands where we can see them. Can you put on top of your head? The officers proceeded to search him. One, two, three. Two, three. We're out. We're done now. Come on, we're over. Just have the sergeant running, please, to confirm that open. And we just located him. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, Yeah. Okay, right? Yeah. So you know you're not supposed to be in the building, right? Right now you're being placed under arrest for trespassing, trespassing and possession of that, uh... It's for self-protection. Okay. Well, my brother's going to search you. Yeah. Okay. Just spread your legs. Thank you. Do you have anything else in your pockets, Kim? No. Thank you. Nice. What's this ID? Vapes. I think I Just a tissue. Yeah. It's fine.
you have any other layer of pants on the list? Boxes. Boxes, that's it? Okay, I'm okay. just checking that. Yeah, thank you. And don't move them, I'm just gonna check it out. Officers found burglary tools in his backpack and confirmed that he was the burglar caught on surveillance cameras a week prior. Kim was charged with burglary, criminal trespassing, criminal mischief, possession of burglary tools, unlawful possession of weapon, and theft. This woman used a 15-year-old to help her steal packages. What's going on? You're being detained as well. Mommy! Okay. No, mommy, go to my house. Come get my phone. Put your my, hands together. My boyfriend, my dog. On November 28, 2023, Montgomery police officers tracked down a porch pirate later identified as 23-year-old Taylor Nicole DeBella, who had stole multiple packages in Hamilton County. Debella enlisted the help of a 15-year-old girl to snatch the packages from porches as soon as they were delivered. I need help, please. I'm doing your dish. No, sir. No, sir, I don't. Guns? Well, the, stop right there. First off, you're, you're driving without any taillights. Second I, off, we keep getting reports of people stealing packages off the of porches, where all these boxes come from. We were building gingerbread houses. I got them out the recycling. I just stopped right there and got some. From where? Right there, where I, right there, just past the police set. He's underage. He's only 15. Okay. So when we go watch these videos from all the ring cameras of people stealing off the porches, is it going to be him? Because he's wearing a mask, just like the person in the video. No, that's because he keeps his hair down. 
So he's wearing a ski mask because he and wears And it's cold his hair outside. Down. Yes, it's cold. He he's in a one, car. Why would he's he be the in? one who does my delivery? Do you have a driver's for license me? on you? No, sir. My mom does. Can I please just have her? No, what's your name? Taylor. Pat's a bit of beauty. No, Pat. Mommy, please come here. I'm sending you my location. Are all these boxes empty? Some of them are. Which ones aren't? I don't know. There were some in the trunk. Can we look at them? Yes. Can you get your info for me? Yeah. No, mommy. Can you open the doors for What's me? What's your name? I'm scared, Taylor. Can I please step out? Calm. Just sit down. I... Just calm down. Taylor. Common spelling? T A Y L O R. Mommy, please come here. Last fast. name. Last name. Can you spell your last name for me? Yeah, no. Can you open the doors for us? You could just pull them, I'm sorry. Last name, please. Taylor. Nicole. You said you're Nicole? Yes. Sit down. Hold on, I need to breathe, I'm sorry. Sit down. I have bad anxiety. Mommy, can you tell them? Sit down. I'm trying to. You're not. I'm sitting you down. You need to start mommy. listening. Okay? I'm trying to, sir. I'm sorry. Taylor and Nicole? My anxiety is really bad. I'm about to faint. Taylor and Nicole? Yes, sir. That's your last name? Yes, sir. N I C H O L E. Date of birth? 12 21 1999. Alright, at this point, go ahead and step out for me. Okay. Put your phone right there for me. Mommy! Put your what, phone right what's there. What's going on? You're being detained as well. Mommy! No, mommy, go to my house. Come get my phone. Put your my, hands together. My put, boyfriend, your, my dog. Put the back of your, put the back of your hands together. Can you guys get my mom my location, please? She doesn't need an air Yes, she does. How old are you? I'm 23. Alright, well, then she doesn't need to know. Mommy, please come give me a. Please, mom. I'm gonna go run this. I know that's her info. Let's see if I can get something for him. This is the Amazon desktop. Yeah. Dude, they got like 20 packages in there. Sit down right here for me, okay? Alright, so I gotta just explain to you, okay? You don't have to answer questions if you don't want to. If you decide to answer questions, you can stop at any time. If you want to talk to a lawyer before asking, answering any questions, you can also do that. So right now the car is being seized because uh, you have a bunch of stolen packages in it, okay? Um, he's under arrest and you're under arrest. Got it? Yes, sir. Okay. Did, well, I mean, how many houses did you guys hit? Yes, I don't. Because you were literally throwing packages from houses that you stole from into other houses' front yards. No, I was not. But you're driving. Why? So what? I mean, I apologize, sir. I don't want to be in any more trouble. I'll do whatever. I'm just, I mean, have you been driving all over town? Did you guys just start? No, I just, I thing? just started. I promise. So how do you know him? I don't know him for real. I was just. What's his name? Coda. Huh? Coda. Coda? How old is he? He's only 15. Okay. Can you please let me know what's gonna happen to me? Can I get like cited? Can I get a, a bond? Yes, sir. I have work and I have dogs and a kid at home. So and why I, are you out doing this? Because I was trying to make my rent money and I didn't. I was scared because the, the lady just texted me and told me she needed some money. Who? The rent lady. You could go check my phone. She just said she needed money. So how do you know this kid? Like how because did he get roped into helping you steal packages? Because I was helping, his mom asked me to help her while she got on her feet, and so she was staying with me. But she didn't help me with nothing, and I'm trying. She don't. She gets food stamps for him and everything, and I've had them for like six months, and she don't help me, and I don't know what to do anymore. So how many houses have you guys hit today? Not a lot, sir. I promise not a lot. I just wanted the least trouble. I'd return the packages and everything. I, I just can't. I can't get in trouble. I need. I, I gotta go pay the rent where my dogs are. They're gonna be out there tomorrow, and I don't know what to do. That's why I want to talk to my mom. I take a citation and go to court or whatever it takes. I can't go to jail. I'm sorry. Who's at home with your kids? No, nobody. It's his other brother. It's his brother. There's twins and. They're like kids to me, and I shouldn't have had them out doing this. So they're not your actual kids? 
No, I'm trying to get custody of them. Their mom said she was going to go to court for me, and she never went to court for me to get custody, so I've been doing Why it. Why would you get custody of them? Be because she asked me to for help her with temporary custody. Because why? Because she don't have nowhere to live, and I did, but now I'm not going to have nowhere, and my dogs aren't going to have nowhere. I just need to know if I can get a. What's gonna happen? Can you guys cite me and I get picked up or something? Well, we gotta figure that out. You guys got a lot of packages there. We gotta get through. We gotta figure all this stuff out. Have you just been following the Amazon driver around? No, I just was seeing what houses had packages in certain areas. I didn't even get all so, of them. So knowing what you know and knowing what you guys were doing, why would you? start with such an attitude as soon as this officer tried to pull you over. You fuck the door and start screaming what you're getting pulled over No, I, I opened the door and I asked what I was getting pulled over for and then I realized the taillights were off too. Yeah. So I had to put the, I put the taillights but on. why the, not just stop right there on the street? Why'd you keep driving in the parking lot? Because I was trying to get off of the main road. I'm sorry. I was always taught when you get pulled over to get off the main road. I'm okay. sorry. Taylor Nicole DeBella was charged with seven counts of theft. This woman got tased after her robbery attempt. Get on the ground now! Get on the ground! Taser, taser, taser! On August 25th, 2023, Columbus Police Department officers were dispatched in reference to a robbery attempt where a woman was wielding a broken glass bottle and tried to break into a store. The officers located the suspect, later identified as Ciara R. Martin, who had no thoughts of cooperating and resisted arrest. A black black shirt, black shirt, threatening staff. Yep, I'm here. Put your hands behind your back. Oh, now. You're going to get paid. Put your hands behind your back. Now. Your hand, belt for it. Am I annoyed? It ain't green. It's blinking red when it's all in. Put your hands behind your back. car step it up. Hard on 60. The suspect keeps resisting until the officers have to taser. All right, taser, taser, taser. Get on the ground. 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 Now, get on the ground. Taser, taser, taser. Get on your stomach! Get on your Down stomach! Get on your stomach! Put your hands behind your back! She's alright, I got her legs. She threw a bottle in the back. Exactly what I want to put me on that. I should have taken some. Canine said, slow down. She's detained. And start a supervisor for my use of patient. You got any weapons on you? Huh? They said she only had bottles in her bag. Roll over on your side, dear. Roll on your other side. Go ahead and roll, dear. Sit up. Alright, so you need them. There you go. Camera's not on. You good? I you. take her? I love you. No. Do you don't want to come out. <laughs> oh, he's he's running up. water. He's standing up. I'm not playing, y'all. Nope. I'm just up. running water. I can't oh, shit. I'm not playing, y'all. I'm going to shut it down. A man can't touch me. Can you pull my shirt down? We can't please. Yes, ma'am. I swear to God. You got 
Okay. Your first time shooting with a taser? Huh? What's your name, dear? Sierra Morton. My son is a fucking kid. What was that my house yesterday? Sierra Morton. Sierra Renee Morton. What's your birthday, dear? Are you 26 what? 85. What's your social? You said you live at, uh, what is it? Princeton. Okay. You got a phone number? She's been patted down. No. Not phone. Yes. Okay. Let's take some deep breaths. It's birthday and I ain't even seen me. Everything's you're all covered, dear. This this table ain't no place to walk, guys. And the whole thing. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. Okay. There is some dude in a red shirt that flagged me down. And then I pulled in. No. Um, I pulled in, and then they were like, "It's her, it's her." Medics are on the way, okay? No, I just need water. I'm fine. Where's the guy in the red shirt? He might be inside the store. What did he say? He flagged me down when I was driving, and then he didn't say anything. I had aired that I was flagged down, pulled in, and that's when she said that I, there was a 42 here, and then I there was a bunch of people here, and they were like, it's her, it's her, it's her, and that's when I tried to grab her up. Yeah. I only had all this. I never had no bottles. I dropped the bottles in an accident. He's a shorter dude, older, her real man. scared me. Like, He's in a red shirt. She was like, bitch. And I, I think was, he has a mustache. Black people just nosy as fuck. That's why they... Oh. Right, buddy. You ready? Go in there. Just careful, I'll shock you. Wait, wait. I gotta come out. How many is it? Two. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go. On three. One. Mm -hmm. She was charged with robbery.